CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Elliot Rodriguez with a CBS 4 News update. Great news off the coast of Georgia. The Coast Guard says rescuers have found four missing crew members who were trapped inside an overturned ship. Rescuers were able to drill a hole through the ship's hull to reach the crew members. The ship capsized over the weekend and quickly caught fires. It was leaving port in Brunswick, Georgia. Former South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford says he will challenge President Trump in the 2020 Republican primary. Sanford made the announcement yesterday. The announcement was delayed because of Hurricane Dorian. Sanford lost a primary race to return to Congress last year after criticizing President Trump. He's the third Republican to announce a primary challenge to the president. And the Miami Dolphins opening game of the season is one Dolph fans would love to forget. The Finns lost to the Baltimore Ravens 59 to 10 Sunday. South Florida native Lamar Jackson helped lead the Ravens to victory with five TD passes. Quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick started the game as expected but was replaced by Josh Rosen in the third quarter. The loss was was so bad, some Dolphin players are reportedly asking to be traded. Now, CBS4 weather. Day one here, weather control. Well, high pressure building in, and that'll give us a bit of a breeze here over the next few days. Uh, for right now, we watch uh, what is left of Dorian moving into the North Atlantic. We'll keep an eye on this area of cloudiness here, north of Puerto Rico and uh, north of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. That could bring some increased moisture to the area. It does have a low potential for development here over the next three to five days. Uh, still a lot going against it initially, but that could bring us increasing clouds and a few more gusty showers here over the weekend. Two areas to watch in the Atlantic, both showing low development potential, but uh, we're watching and we'll keep an eye on that for the next few days. Mostly clear and warm breeze tonight. Winds about 10 to 15, so you can notice that overnight tonight. And then it picks up again tomorrow. Breezy at times, maybe a brief shower and pushes through the area in the morning. Want to use caution in the Keys, there may be an advisory issued. Wind 10 to 15 knots, seas are 2 to 4 feet. The bays are seeing a moderate chop. Extended forecast has highs just above 90 degrees. You'll notice that wind picking up Wednesday and Thursday. Showers increasing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that's our news for now. You can always find us at CBSMommy.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines.